Hey everyone, it's Calvin, also known as Wormer, and this is Paper Mario the Origami King, and we are barreling, darting, and falling gracefully, but not so gracefully, towards the end of this game. I always feel this weird feeling towards the end of any game that I truly like a lot, or truly love a lot, and that is that feeling of, I want to see what happens next. I want to see what is about to happen next in this game, but at the same time, I don't want to finish it. I played recently, it's the same, similar with Persona 5 Royal, it was similar with Final Fantasy 7 Remake. It's this feeling of, I want to see what happens next, but I don't, because <laughs> I know that's going to be the end coming up. We have some stuff to do before we do anything else in this game. We missed one merchant um, right up here. We also missed this chest, which is kind of crazy. So that will bring us right up to this guy over here, so maybe we can actually make our way up here. Hello, guy. Hello. Oh, I'm not stranded here. I was just taking it all in. I can, I, I get that feeling, dude. You want to come with me? I get that feeling. That's one of the things. Taking a knee in a game, guys, it's the most fun and entertaining thing that you can really do in a game. Uh, I used to be a person that darted true games and raced true games, but the Legend of Zelda series and Paper Mario in fairness as well really helped me calm down a little bit and like take the time to explore everything that's on offer in these video games, and in video games in general. Let's see what we can find here. So you have the- okay. Easily. An easy purchase. That's one of the easiest purchases you could ever purchase. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, retro sound mix. Change- changes hammering and jumping- Yes! Why not? I mean, why not? We might as well try it. And let's buy the gold one as well. So now we have all we really need. Going to the next area. Thank you for your incredible support. Yeah, support. You've helped me all through this game. And now we can actually head on to the next area. But let's check our accessories out for just a second. Uh, of course, we have these. Is, we have to equip these. Let's see what... So we can... Yeah, that makes sense. Um, I don't know about this one. I don't... We'll keep this for like five minutes. Um, since we're going into the final area, like, why not? We'll buy one more of each of these. I mean, there's no, like... Oh no, we don't have to... No, you can't trick me. Sorry. I think, I think, I'll, I'll be honest, guys, that like, I, I don't mind... I don't mind the sound of that, um... The, like, the, the old retro sounds. Uh, but even though I bought it, and I might be kind of silly for not using it as much as I should, I kind of just love base, like, stuff in the games, because it really is, like, it's what gets me immersed in the games. I don't know how you feel about that stuff, but I was, I watch sometimes people do playthroughs myself, and it's no offense to anybody, uh, but something that would take me out of the game completely, on my first playthrough at least, is putting on extra costumes that are not canon, that aren't actually in, that aren't actually a part of the story, or what the person would wear. Again, using the example of Persona 5 Royal, or Persona 5 in general, or Persona in general, I just can't bring in myself in my first playthroughs of those games, or couldn't bring myself in those, my first playthroughs of those games, to change the canon costumes, because it just takes me out of it, all, like, altogether. I know some people are different, and I'm not trying to shame anybody, because everyone gets immersed in games in different ways. Uh, but second playthroughs, oh my god. Like, I'm playing my second playthrough of Trails of Cold Steel 3 right now. Rainbow hair for everyone! <laughs> Casual outfits. Swimwear, everything you can offer, we're doing it. Yes. It feels it feels heavy though, right? It feels heavy. We're about to take on Ollie. And while I think I've had my only real big complaints about this game have been that we haven't seen much of Ollie. Like, let's be honest, we haven't seen much of Ollie, and a lot of the history with Ollie has been kind of through snippets and flashbacks, which is not entirely wrong with that. I know it's a style in in itself. It has kind of, in a way, added to the mysteriousness of Ollie. So I can totally understand that. Hey everyone, it's me, I'm back! Um, actually my food came early. I thought I would have time to record one video, but no, the food decided to come 30 minutes early. It was delicious though, it was really good. Uh, also, um, I actually wasn't recording the first, like, two seconds of this. I just pulled this down, pulled this doorway down. Uh, in a really cool manner. I should also say before this video gets any further, I will be bulk recording videos. I I think I said this in an update video, but I'm going to have to do it, especially as I'm going back to work, and I want to keep making videos. I think this is the best way that we can do it. 
Uh, I will say there'll be some days that I can easily come home and record videos, no problem. So obviously I'm going to be working a schedule around that. It's probably the best way to do things. Um, but just so you know, like say in the last video or the video before that, I got so many tips on how to do certain things. Uh, and it turns out that um, I, even if I couldn't find what people were talking about, I do apologize. But I will try and keep every single tip that I get under consideration because it does help quite a bit in these playthroughs. Oh my, this is such a cool vibe. It's Mario, alert King Ollie. How about don't alert King Ollie? Oh, he's right there, he's right there. I ordered you to stop Mario and his friends and you failed. You pathetic cowards. Oh my God. I was going to retire tomorrow. Recycle me. See the difference between him and Bowser. Bowser has respect for his minions in a way. I suppose this is fitting. Welcome to the Origami Castle, Mario. And this amazing music. Hold on, brother. Folding Peach's castle into this Origami Castle is too far. There's no coming back from that. If you do anything worse, I... Oh, my dear Olivia. If only you shared my wisdom. If only you shared my vision for an Origami Kingdom. I assure you, folding all of Peach's castle into Origami was just the beginning. Mario, since I know best, I have refolded this castle in my image. I sincerely hope you enjoy it. Oh, here's oh, th th here's another sumo guy. That's a cool mechanic, though. So let's see. I best. I I'm wondering what the best way to oh to jump on the sides here. I can see it now. Okay, that was my bad. So let's let him do this. So and then that'll move over that. Wait, is there a platform over there that we can jump onto? Wait a second. Wait a second. Hold on just a second. I want to try this. No way it works. Yes. That was awesome. That felt good. The fact that you can actually do that feels really good. We haven't filled out the stands either. I'm sure that we can probably like go back it doesn't I, I'm not I'm not lying it does make me feel kind of bad uh, to not have filled out the stands a bit so let's see can we move uh, boys over here like this and then move them back a bit maybe yeah of course we should probably use the flashy or not flashy boots probably use the legendary the music here is really good good but it's been really good the entire game this is one of those soundtracks that like I'm like yeah it's great that you have the old soundtracks to Mario free with the games but Jesus Christ. Put this on a CD. Put this on a CD or a vinyl or something. Put it out there somewhere. Put it on Spotify. Do something. It's really good. We have Bowser with us this time, which is great. I like... I like a lot that they allowed you to do that. That they allowed you to use the laminated suit in such a way. I mean, because they could have easily just not let us do it. You know what I mean? They could have easily just not let us do it. I should also say, guys, as well, that um, I won't be recording too far. I won't be book corn too far. My timetable is in such a way that I can actually... Can we laminate ourselves now again? That I can actually... Uh, where am I? Where am I? That I can actually record videos during the week as well. Uh, but just not all the time. There'll be like one or two times where I can do it. Here we go. Um... So, I'm guessing to get this guy in here, we should probably use the same method as... Uh, oh wow. Hold on a second. We want to, we want to be able to move this boy into that row there. So this needs to be empty. No, sorry, wrong row, wrong row. Then that row needs to be empty like this. Wait. But in that sense, we could do this. Move the boy into here. No, okay, this is a bit different. This is very different from what we were doing before. Um, 
You know what? Let's cheer a bit. Let's cheer a bit. We're cheering. A little bit of a cheer. What way did they start it off? By moving him. Okay. Okay. Um, let's buy a bit more time. The music is really epic here. The music is really epic. Um, so if we move... Oh, I'm still so confused. This is not the easiest thing in the world to do. Wait, if we move... Wait. What I was thinking if we move the boys into this angle here, but that's not far enough. Huh. Let's see. You know, we failed this one. We failed this one. I'm sure there's like, like yeah, as, as, usual, as usual, there's a really simple way of doing this. Uh, but I just didn't find it. I am really glad, though, that we have been seeing a little bit more Bobby. Like, Bobby's been waiting for your, for us here. Kind of like lying in wait. That was not enough damage. But hey, I guess it was. I wonder if Flashy Boots would... Oh, Fire Breath! I wonder if Flashy Boots would actually be enough uh, for these guys. I mean, we have the Legendary Boots. So there's no point in not using them. Uh, let's take off the Laminated Suit here. It's for the best. A little bit of a collectible. Nice. Okay, let's see, is there anything down here we missed? Oh, there must be, yes, there must be. Yep. Don't wanna miss out on too many things in this game. Nice little bit of change. The music, it feels like we are on like, oh, it's like one of those, the spikes are like those um puzzles that you do, you know, like where you like move them around. Oh wait, let's uh, use the laminate suit again. Where am I, huh? Where'd I go? I don't know, you were supposed to see me. <laughs> I guess he probably just like saw me where I went and was like, okay. The music makes it really hard to like separate, doesn't it? It's like really hard to separate what's the battle and what's the real uh, world here. Um, okay, so we have three ring moves. Let's start by... Uh, I guess we could start by moving... Oh my god, like, I, I, like, and here's the thing. I get it. I get that it's the last dungeon of the game. It kind of makes sense, right, to have, like, much harder puzzles than before. Well, we can probably move... Man, okay, I'm gonna cheer again. I'm gonna cheer again. These are much harder than the other ones, for sure. So how would they start it? They would start by moving them there, like what I was going to do. Oh, I see it now. Yeah, I see it. I see it now. Yeah, yeah. That's actually not... That's not more difficult than the other ones. Again, I'm just not looking properly sometimes. Uh, the music... The music is killing me because it's like... It feels like there's something killing me. Where do... Where did you get this music? <laughs> I know people tell me who... have already told me who has composed this uh, game. And who has helped compose this game. But at the same time... Like, this is freaking killer. This is such a good little soundtrack. Take off the laminated suit. I'm gonna miss the little things like this. Just like moving around in an origami world and like in a paper world. I... For me, for me personally, and I don't know how this has made you guys feel. I'm gonna talk about it a bit more after the series is done. But this has made me so excited to see what's next for Paper Mario. This has made me so excited to see what's next. I was... I'm using the left analog. There we go, okay, okay. Come on, Bowser. We gotta make our day.
See, the thing is, the two Paper Mario games, I'm just looking around here, sorry guys, but the, the, the two Paper Mario games that I played, Super Paper Mario and Paper Mario 64, they never really disappoint with their final areas. I think that Super Paper Mario especially was just like so amazing for a final area. Oh my lord. How do you like Origami Castle, the Origami Castle so far? Too easy? Say no more, I hear your feedback loud and clear and I'll be happy to implement changes immediately. Uh, okay. So he's changing this around. They're doing an absolutely stellar job, though. We have we have not seen Ollie for this for mostly the entire game, uh, unless it was in um, like just seeing him randomly a few places here or there. And they've done such a fantastic job of just like. Do we stamp on this? They've done such a fantastic fantastic job so far of making this place feel really epic. And making Ollie feel like he's actually a really big credible threat. Whether that's the case or not, we don't know yet. We haven't fought his boss yet. So we're gonna have to see exactly how much of a credible threat Ollie is. But at the moment. I'm kind of terrified. Okay, let's jump over here and get this guy. Oh, wow. Okay, I think we can do this. <laughs> I always say that, but they're always like my famous last words. So if we move them to there, move them to there. Move them to there. I'm so sorry if it's picking up the microphone, guys, but I'm not turning down the TV. This song is too, too, too cool. It's not happening. I apologize. If there's a little bit of reverb or echo, I, 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 I can't care right now. This song is too good. Uh, let's use a legendary hammer on these bros. This is what hammer bros get. They get hammers. 49 damage, pretty good though. Bowser, did you see what I'm doing here? Bowser loves it though. Bowser loves it. Because, because like, you know, in, like, he, in a weird way, cares about Peach as well. Yes, he has tormented her and kidnapped her. I know there's that, like, really weird thing where it's like, well, you know, he just loves her. Um... But like he 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 cares about he cares about the world too in a way in a weird way because if he, if there's no world, then there's no Mario, and there's no Peach left, then there's no real reason for him to be doing his evil doer things. That's, oh, that's such a good part of the song. Like it makes it makes you feel like you're about to like I don't know like you're about to launch into fucking space or something. It's great. I know that doesn't sound right, but. Oh, this is, uh, maybe I did that a little bit wrong. No, I did not. There we go. Okay, I did do it wrong, but, like, now we know how to do it. Oh, we don't even need to use the red. Okay, we don't even need to use the red. That's what some people were telling me a long while back. That you don't even need to, like, always look at the red circles. It is, I know we didn't fill up the full sands, but it's so strange how we started off with like a, like one toad in the crowd. Like one or two toads in the crowd. And now we have like a full audience. I did go back to the Princess Peach, of course. Uh, and I think I probably should have gone back again after I, uh, you know, exited out of the level. But uh, we can take out this laminate suit, at least for now. Just to get these. I'm worried that one of these isn't going to be something that I wanted to be. I'm worried that one of these things is going to be a dangerous item. Let's hit them all at once, though. Or maybe it's all just coins. Oh, no, it's not. It's actually some good stuff. There's a there's a bullet bill, right? Is that what it's called? Bullet bill. Look, guys, I know Mario. I'm a Mario expert now. I only know that from, uh, I think, uh, uh, Mario Kart. I used to play Mario Kart Wii all the time as a kid. My favorite Mario Kart. I love it. Kaboom! And then we get our 100 coins as we're going across. We can re oh no you don't no 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 there's like a perfect combination of danger and fun in this place so far and I'll admit like at first it was hard to concentrate with the music but now here I am so we can bring them around to there they're like this I suppose um this isn't right. 
at all. I'm sure there's some other way to do this. Like, even that wouldn't be right. But what I was thinking, if then if we bring these boys over here like this... Or... Or if we bring these boys over here like that, but still it wouldn't be exactly right. Let's go back all the way to the start for a second here. Um... It... You know what? It might just be as simple as doing this. I might have been overcomplicating it again. Yeah, it's way simpler than I was giving... than I was doing it. Yeah. No, you're you're postponing it so you can listen to the music more. <laughs> and right down, right down, a shot right on the head. We're getting some good coins here as well. Again, we don't really need coins as much as we did need coins. Uh Wait, we, we like passed into like a whole other area here. I'm guessing we have to head up here. I'm guessing if we kill this guy, we're gonna get like a thousand folded arms or something because I don't see any other way up right now. Oh, wow. Okay, so let's, let's just try, let's just try and move stuff for now. Let's just keep moving stuff for now. So if we move these boy, this boy over here, maybe if we move, maybe if we, okay, so let's try this movement again. And let's try this movement again. Where we move these boys across. That wouldn't work out though. Why did you suggest that movement to me, guys? Uh. Huh. Uh, yeah, this, this is a bit hard for me. This is a bit hard for me. We're gonna cheer again. It's always a bad sign in the crowd when the toads are like, This is too hard! Okay. Oh, okay, I see it. I kind of see it now. Because then I, I'd say we have, we have to, first of all... Wait. No, that's not right at all. Um... No, let's buy some time. There's no point. No point to, like, we have so many coins. There's no point wasting... A, a, a battle. Um, so if we move this boy around here, we'll move him around too. Oh no, there we go. Was that where we started? <laughs> Is it where we started? I can't. I can't see this at all. I guess I'm gonna have to like look at the toads. Yeah, they're saying deja vu. As if I did this before, so I'm, this probably is it. Probably is a puzzle that I have done before. Okay. Uh, the best I'm gonna do right now. Uh, oh, whatever. Just let's just go. Let's just go. Um, I know there was a way to do that, guys. And please do tell me. Please do tell me the way that I could have done that there. Because I know you guys were able to see it at a different perspective that I'm usually not able to do with these, um, puzzles. Sometimes you need an outside perspective as well to look at your own mistakes. And I think it's always a good thing, um, especially, especially in video games too. Get him, Bowser. We'll have one left after this. Enemy's turn. He's gonna get to take a hit. This is the first, this is the first time we, an enemy's gotten taken a hit in a while. Even like Scissors Boss, by the way, back then. He didn't get to take much of a hit either. Yeah, there it is. There's a thousand folded arms. Just as I thought. But I don't think that's predictable, though. I think the game just has a nice rhythm to it. Yes, let's do it. Whereabouts, though? Grab! I see it, I see it, I see it! Let's go back! I see it. Grab, 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 grab! Oh my god, that feels good. So it's not to go up, it's to go here. But I guess it is to go up in the end, yeah. Oh my god, and there's a thousand folded irons right there! We're doing so good, and I, I guess that we'll be able to, like, maybe, um... 
change direction. Oh, yeah, we're going to change the direction of this thing here. Yeah. Oh, look at this fire. I didn't know they stretched these this far. Freaking neat. Guys, that's going to do for this video. And I'm not quite sure how long I was recording because there was a little tiny break in between there and a few little um, edits in between there. So I'm not quite sure exactly the amount of time. But we will continue on with this dungeon in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all the support. It is incredible seeing how much, like, people are into these videos. See you soon. Bye-bye.